Now you can't actually edit anything on this score, it's just a graphic representation of your piece of music. And we can see here, if we're using tractor feed paper, it even shows us the piece of paper here with the holes down the side. Um, well, here's our piece of music then. It's fitted three bars onto each system. If we wanted to, we can change that up here, where it says bars per line. We can click on one bar a line, two bars a line, or so on and so on and so on. Uh, I think we'll leave the computer to side because it seems to work quite happily. Also on this page as well, we can change the margins. This will be useful, for example, if, you're, if you've got binding on your piece of music. Uh, you've got several pages which you've bound together. Binding obviously always, always takes up room. You can click on the dotted line there and slide it in a little bit. And it squidges the score together a bit. In fact, now we can see it hasn't actually fitted the score on the page now. But that's, that squidges everything together a bit so you, can, so you can allow room for the binding. So we'll put that back to there for now. Right. Minimum distance basically changes the distance between notes, um, which we don't need to do in this case. Local format uh, we'll come on to later on. This is to deal with um, to do with setting a specific number of bars for each individual line. So all we need to do now is click on print page, like so. Now the printer will uh, now start wearing away. Make sure obviously it's online before you click on print page. While it's printing, you can't do anything else. You just have to watch it, uh, watch the screen in front of you. When it's finished printing, it'll obviously return to the page preview. If you have a crisis in the middle and you wanted to stop printing, all you do is just press any key on the keyboard and it'll actually stop printing. What we're going to do now is go back and actually save our composition onto disk. Obviously, if the computer's switched off now, we'll lose the composition entirely because the memory inside the Atari computer is not backed up by battery or anything. So, we exit from the page preview page by pressing exit. We need to exit from the printer page by pressing exit there. And we exit from the score page by pressing E. But before I do that, let's explain something about the menus. If we go up to menu file now, which is where all the saving functions are stored, you'll see that everything's in light grey. That means that you can't do it from this page or you can't ac access that function from this page. So, if you ever see that, it means you're not allowed to do that function from that page. So get out of that menu and let's click on E to get out of that page and go back up to menu file and now we can see they're all in black.